Ingram, two-time Pro Bowler now, has cracked the 1,000-yard rushing mark for a second straight year. Only the great Deuce McAllister and Ricky Williams have ever done that. And a quick toss, Mark Ingram. Looks like he has the first down. And he does on the far sideline, first and 10 New Orleans with 12-15 remaining in the first quarter. And already Sean Payton using multiple personnel groupings. We've seen Peterson, we've seen the rookie Camara, and Ingram had over 1,000 yards and 46 catches. Those are career numbers, Sean. And what does he get? He gets Camara and Adrian Peterson and less touches this year. Ingram averaged 5.1 yards per carry last year. That was third best in the NFL. Oh, he's back out. He's on the near side. And they run it up the middle. That's Ingram. That's the first time he's seen any daylight. He's got nine. On first down, it's Ingram. Down the hole. Picks up a first down. Thomas Davis finally chases him down. At the 46-yard line as Ingram picks up 15. Great pace and running by, by Ingram. You know, this is just a stretch run play, good blocking up front. He's just got to pick a lane. Uh-oh. He has some room. Mark Ingram down the sideline. Finally pushed out of bounds by Glover Quinn, who had the angle. Mark Ingram is waiting for that. Andrus Peet, big offensive guard. Athlete getting out in space. Getting a block on the corner, Nevin Lawson creating a short corner to stiff arm on Tyer Whitehead. And you see Mark Ringer, Adrian Peterson's gone. That means I get more opportunities. The more opportunities I have, the more I'll show you, coach, that I deserve the bulk of the carries. Competition breeds excellence. Strike it down and five. This is Ingram. He has a first down and more. Inside the 30. And a flag. Horse collar once again, Charles. Yeah, I believe that's got to be the call there, the way it came in and the way he was pulled down. And Mark Ingram trying to close this one out for New Orleans. But how about this offensive line? New Orleans takes over at the 20. On first down, it's Ingram with a really good run. Ingram picks up 12. Boy, this is where he's gotten better, his patience as a runner and vision. In order to be a great running back in the National Football League, you have to have patience and let holes develop. And that great job right here getting on Danny Trevathan. That's Calamete springing the hole. And Ingram showing that burst. This year, he's out to prove a point. He's running angry. Let's continue to play. And here's Ingram into the open field. Crossing midfield. And he's all the way to the 40 yard line. Biggest one of the end down. Well, it's a nice little switch up. Larebus is in a guard. Pete moves to tackle. And watch him cave down the interior of the Tampa Bay defensive line, creating that big hole. And you have Unger getting to the second level on Juan Alexander and Mark Ingram. High and tight with that football. Two hands on it. Not giving it up. Making it look easy on the Saints. Second and eight. It's Ingram again. And he has a first down and more. Mark Ingram to the Bills. 24. I have not seen the New Orleans Saints, watch these blocks here, not seeing the New Orleans Saints run with so many two-back sets. Now Ginn shifts it to the backfield, it's Ingram inside the 20, stays on his feet, and is finally tackled at the five-yard line by Jordan Poyer. So Ingram needed a yard right there, and he gained 25. Look at the gap, the run through here, it's huge. Then you get a missed tackle by Ramon Humber. Micah High is not able to bring him down, and they are running the ball with authority. Toss to Ingram. Ingram with a big hole. And Ingram is tackled inside the 20 by the rookie, Eddie Jackson. A 19-yard run. How about Ryan Ramchek? How about that rookie? Down, down, around. Let's go. There's a down block, and watch Ryan Ramchek get out on floor. And Ingram. Nothing, nothing fancy about him. He's a straight ahead head. He's looking for contact. Looking for their eighth straight. Ingram back into the mix. Brought down near the 41 by Swearinger. And the avalanche continues to roll down the mountain. What a job here in the back line. And Andrews Pete, he drives his guy right out of the hole. Mark Ingram right in behind it. That's a uh, Great execution, and we've been watching it from this team all year long. On first down, handoff is to Ingram. He gets out. Shifts inside the 40. What a run. Ingram still going down to the 11. 
chance to run the ball through and what a great job up front by that offensive line and Brandon Coleman number 16 has done such an excellent job as a wide receiver in the blocking game into the secondary on a huge game season long for Ingram Breeze to the air oh, Ingram with a knee block coming up here from Wolford look out great block makes the move down the sideline he goes Lee tries to take him out. At about the 10. 54 yard catch and run. We're going to watch Warford get out in front of him, and then they just get the back out. It's, it's just a really a, nothing more than a swing pass. A lot of green grass for Mark Ingram. They're tied with five interceptions, second in the league as Ingram picks up the first down. Into Bill's territory. It's Hyde who makes the tackle as Ingram gains 14. This is just a direct run. I mean, a lot of movement going on up front. You'll see the offensive line parking him into the second level. Two big runs to start this game already for the Saints offense. offensive line when you go back and look at last week's game and that win against the Buffalo Bills they, they, I've never seen such a dominant performance by an offensive group running the football Ingram nice run gets 11 well, Zach Klein he comes in he's that fullback he's the lead blocker he makes a nice block and you see Mark Ingram and how good he is in the hole. They bring on an extra lineman here, and Loribas on the right side. They're going to run it, that's why. Bouncing is Ingram. Nice shot. Gets down to the 20, and Ingram has a five-yard gain. He's the one who's got to do it now. Breeze. Ingram brought it down. Good move out of the tackle by Jones to get the first down. The strength and power of Mark Ingram there. And the worst nightmare for Marquand Manuel was this, that he couldn't get these guys on the ground. We've talked about it all night long. Is he a power player? I would say so. That's what the Green Bay Packers are thinking right now. There's Ingram with room along the left sideline. Flags fly, but he picks up the first down. All right, thanks very much, Mike. Reese sets up the screen. And this is Ingram who picks up a first down all the way out to midfield. 25 yards for Mark Ingram. Yeah, great job here by Mark Ingram. Picking up some extra yards after the play, and this is just great running. This is what he offers as a back. He can receive, he can play all three downs. On first down, underneath, pass caught. Ingram, a nice spin away from Thomas Davis. Converted to the Saints so far today. Ingram back on the field, stayed on his feet, and has another Saints first down out to the 45. Breeze all day, over the middle, Ingram, good cut. Ingram fighting his way for a first down. That was a heck of a cut by Mark Ingram, and he made Bobby McClain miss in the process. Second down, out of the eye they go. They'll run it a big roll for Ingram with a spin at the end, and Mark Ingram has himself a gain of nine. Third first down for New Orleans. Breeze on the fake. Here comes pressure setting up that screen. They're so good at this. Ingram rolling across the 40 and another first down. As Drew Breeze, now the third quarterback ever over 70,000 career yards. Well, the first screen of the game came from the Atlanta Falcons, but this is what New Orleans does. This is their forte. They'll fake it, look back the other way, and now he's coming right back to his left to Mark Ingram. New Orleans Saints looking for their first win. Here's Ingram. And Ingram picks up another first down to the Carolina 30. During the course of the game, Breeze hands here. Ingram, first down and more. On the Saints' first possession. He'll get the call here, running right. He has the first down by about a yard. Seven minutes remaining, third quarter. Ingram again with a second straight carry and a first down. Yeah, he this game playing hard. It's Ingram for a Saints first down. 
Bird in inches. Ingram, second effort. He's going to have the first. Great second effort right here. See Ingram just get through there. And there to block on the left side as well. On the run by Ingram. And Mark Ingram surging forward close to the first down. And uh, the Saints think he got it. Hand off to Ingram. Nice run. A yard short of a first down as he gets nine. Should be playing. Or can be playing to his ability. They come away with no points. Here's Ingram. And Ingram will pick up the Orleans first down to the 22. Second down and three. Ingram gets it, picks it up. First down out of the 45. Ingram as he comes up into the hole. There is a free defender right there. There's five and a half to go. Third down and less than a yard and a first down run by Ingram. Rarely does he fall sideways. Rarely does he fall backwards. One thing Mark Ingram does is get you the tough grind about yards when you need them. And first pass. They give it to Ingram to begin the second half and he okay. hammers his yeah. way up to the 39-yard line. This is what you love about this. You have Alvin Kamara, who obviously is a game breaker and can hit it all sides. Mark Ingram is best when he's running downhill, north and south. He's a one-cut guy. This is Ingram. So hard to pick it down, Rondé. It's just a going. To the 41, day to seven. How would you attempt to bring down a guy such as Mark Ingram? I'm hitting him in the legs. <laughs> He tried to tackle a guy like this up top. He just drives through. Just see how strong his legs are, how balanced he is as a just as a person. Five yard line of the Bucks. Hand off Ingram. Gets outside. Takes a tackler with him. Stays on his feet and falls around the 35 yard line. Ingram doing much of that on him. His own. Brent Grimes on the stop. Losing game last week. They did that with Detroit. Second and three. It's Ingram. He picks up the first down. That will do it. As we hit the two-minute warning. Silent count. Breeze gets it to Ingram. Running to the right. Got a nice block. Spinning and turning. The former Heisman winner's got a first down to the 39-yard line. Gain of 14 on that one. Well, it is really tough to get these backs on the Seven ground. Seven different receivers have caught a pass from Drew Brees, and we're still in the first half. Mark Ingram keeps his feet. He's close to the first down. And that's down to the 31-yard line on Ingram. Well, it's vision right here. And the problem is, I'm going to show you exactly what the problem is. As he's going to cut this back, we're going to get guys in gaps. We're going to get two guys in one gap for the Tampa Bay defense. Watch Levante David. See that? Right there are two guys in one gap, which creates this hole. Zone, exactly what he did. Ingram. Cuts it back, Ingram at the first down marker and with the full progress he's got the first down. Oh, I love this, you go on a quick count and you're hoping to get these guys thinking a little bit. This is down, down, block around. You see there's a down and there's two guys around and there's Ramchek coming again on Kyle Fuller and I guarantee you that's a tough look for Kyle Fuller that time. <laughs> he got out of the way, Clark from there, six yard line. It's Ingram on first down. Is out to the 17 yard line. Gain of 11, enter the wall looks first. Just watch this jump cut. Get lateral to get vertical. Great run. Shoot three. Ingram inside the five and picks up the first down. Fourth and two, they call it. Confusion. Ingram gets it. Jones hits him. Surging forward. Now the spot is T. Where do they put it? It is close. He may very well pick this up. And if he did, he did it because he did it on his own effort. Bobble snap. Timing was totally thrown off. Fortunate that they didn't fumble the football. Watch the snap. Okay, so there's the bobble between Unger and Breeze. Now he runs into Ingram. And he's running through a linebacker and a cornerback. And notice how he finishes the run moving forward.
pitch and breeze. Lots of time. Looks long, settles short. In the left flat for Ingram. He makes a move on screen. So this would be interesting to see how the teams handle this. They're going to try and set up a screen, and they do just that. It is Ingram, who has turned himself into a really good pass catcher, and he's got himself a first down for New Orleans. Play action for Breeze, and now Ingram as they try to set up a screen to the near side. The screens against the Dolphins in London, they ran nine screens. Speaking of screens, there's one to Ingram. Ingram has the first down for the same. Second and two from the 44. Breeze in the shotgun again. Throwing to a wide open Mark Ingram in the right flat. And Ingram's taken down around the 35 yard line. Frustration. He's a competitor, a tough guy. Drew Breeze, screen pass here to Ingram. Ingram. A big play off the screen. And Chris, you said it over and over again. This might be the best screen team in the NFL. Oh, it's no doubt. It's the best team that I've seen on film, and it's all about these offensive linemen getting out and blocking. They set up well. They're patient. Breeze with a play action, then finding Ingram with Calamete out in front of him, and Mark Ingram's got a big play for a first down. Well, the Saints, they started using a lot of Camara and Ingram in the game, in the backfield at the same time. Camara with the Jets. Ingram was back there, second and three, gets his third reception, a block by the tight end Hill, and he breaks another tackle and dives with the flag thrown down to about the 30-yard line of the Jets. Catch and run of 15 yards. He's already had one of 54. The Jets have to be able to defend this little swing route. In the I formation, a toss to Ingram. Gets a block. near sideline that's one of two receivers to that side here's ingram second and third effort to the line and in for the touchdown yeah that's a great job just inside interior whether it's pete you know inside and, and max Songer and larry wolford they run right behind uh it's actually pete that they run behind it's just a great job of mark being able to get his shoulders low third down and one it's ingram Designed to go in the middle, but watch over here, okay? Watch how they seal the left side. See Mark Ingram? Look at the vision. He sees it right out here because of the seal outside. Josh Hill, number 89. Number 72, Teron Armstead. 75, Andrews Pete. They just controlled the left side of the line. And Mark Ingram, instead of running up into the stack line, found an open space. Hey, Ingram in the backfield. Ingram. To the end zone, goes over the top, touchdown! First time it was Kamara, this time it's Ingram with a rushing touchdown. First and goal, into the end zone, it's Mark Ingram for a Saints touchdown. Oh, he got a great lead block. There it did by Zach Line. On second down. It's Ingram. He's hit. His second touchdown today. We continue to say this. The leverage that he is running with right now is impressive. 
Looking to jump into the stands in Buffalo. Wow. Stays dry that time. Lots of yards after contact. Lorenzo Alexander, you got to get underneath him. You have to be lower than Mark Ingram. He's just going to run right through you. First and goal from the Bills, three. Following the interception, it's Ingram. There's a flag as Ingram takes it in for his third touchdown today. Hillary's hands to the face. That's number 21. Hillary's decline. Line the block, walking in is Ingram. One yard touchdown run by Mark Ingram. That is his 10th touchdown of the season. Number six in the NFL, and to the stands he goes. Nine, nothing New Orleans, late first quarter. Extra point coming up. A little run here by Ingram, off to the races. Over a thousand, and there he goes. Did he get in? Did he step out? Touchdown! A gallop of 50 for Mark Ingram. For a second consecutive year, he's over a thousand. And he does it in style. And puts this one away for the Saints, who get their 10th win of the season. Second and nine, here's Ingram, big hole. Mark Ingram, sprinting away! Touchdown, New Orleans! Talked about the vision of Alvin Kamara earlier. How about Mark Ingram? Watch him bend it back and see what he sees there. Look at that. Clear space and look at the block by Pete, 75. The block by Willie Sneed, 83. The play was designed right. He found the hole back left and found the end zone. And it's 20-3 to three Saints. 26-yard run. John Payton has fired up the 12th touchdown run of the year for Mark Ingram.